What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Vontae the first back again for another video. You already know I be doing Fire Force. You know what I'm saying? Last chapter was interesting. We're getting into some more new fights. You know, we got out of the Colonel fight. We seen that shit raw. I loved all of that, all those chapters. And now we're going into the boy Assault. Crimson Bullet motherfucker. So he's back. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell if he's actually the real Assault or if he's just a doppelganger. But I guess it was kind of confirmed by the towards the end of the chapter that it was a doppelganger because of uh, how he was acting. It was, a, it was a little different because usually when he sees Tamaki, he be, you know what I'm saying? She she be getting him with that with that lucky lore shit. The lucky let your lore, let your, yeah. It is a tongue twister for me. But yeah, <laughs> she be getting him with that. And uh, he obviously can't complete his missions because of that. But apparently now he's all good. So I don't know if this is him or it's a double ganger, but more than likely it might be a double ganger because they did show a silhouette of him alongside of uh, Benny Maru's double ganger. Uh, Kurono's double ganger, and I believe uh, Captain Burns, or it was Joker's, and then Burns. It was something like it was like four of them though. So who knows? Um, but it definitely was the sauce um, silhouette that I did see. I could tell by his hair and all that. But let's see what's gonna happen here because the boy Juggernaut came in. So let's see how this is gonna go down. They both fighting. What they, they kind of fighting over Tamaki, or I don't know. It's just interesting to see Assault versus. Juggernaut, hey, they both the bullet men, you know what I'm saying? The bullet, rockets, all that shit. So let's see how this is going to go down. Let's get into it. The final state of mind on the path of abstinence. Okay. And you see there's a heart crossed out. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. Let's see how this is going to go down, man. Okay, we already got a fucking big-ass crater for where, for where from where he landed. And obviously we can see uh, Juggernaut, Tamaki, the rest of uh, Company 8, and I believe Arrow. Yeah, Arrow's there. The absurdly powerful assaults double can uh, can juggernaut's arrival turn the tides let's see come on i'll take on all of you at once that boy is hey man hey i mean assault technically he, he was a big ass deal he's very very strong it's just that we never really got to see it because of the whole thing with tamaki and all that so it's interesting to see how strong he actually is like the extent of his power and since this is a doppelganger technically from what we have seen in the past, usually the original, you know, versions of, of these people do defeat the doppelganger. So you could say that they're stronger. So just to see whatever the doppelganger is going to do, we could just imagine that. So it's technically stronger in terms of, you know, I guess ambition. You know, that's a huge thing in defeating these doppelgangers. So let's see when the real assault comes in or whatever, because this is still I don't know. But let's just let's just continue. <laughs> Maki and I will make an opening and I will you provide fire fire support. You three follow up on on Hinawa's attacks, bet bet. So it's gonna be a four on one, well really five on one, right? I think or shit. I don't know. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, six of them. <laughs> Assault may, may be strong, but if we all come at him like this, then maybe let's go. Okay, they all attack. Oh no, he's attacking them. Okay, so that's what he he started out with the bullets and shit. Damn. My god damn, all this explosion and shit. I mean it's fire force. We gotta have all this fire and the Ooh, Maki, she sweet champ music that boy. No, I think she like round she spinning around house kicked him. I think. Or I said spinning around house. Spinning heel kick, I think. <laughs> That's I like that panel. I like how the, the sole of her foot. That looks that looks really good right there on that panel. She trying to go, she trying to throw them hands with the saw. Saw is that guy. Look at him, man. Like, like um, I did say, it is a doppelganger, I'm assuming. Even though he does look very, like, natural, very normal. But he is going off. He is deflecting bullets. He's everything blocking hits. He is, man, Assault is really like that. That's crazy to see that. <laughs> and then he blocks, Uh, I think this is Obi. He blocks Obi, yeah, because it's Obi's gloves. He blocks Obi's gloves with his finger. And remember, Obi is a strong ass motherfucker. When you talking about brute strength, that nigga Obi is strong as hell. So it's like if he's blocking one with one finger to Obi, that that's a feat alone, man. That's a feat. We've seen Obi do some crazy shit in the show. <laughs> what? You've come at me with all your might. But I won't be taken down by might either. Damn, and he just punched. Ob or did he choke him? I can't tell. I think he punched him in his like by his throat, in his neck. <laughs> damn, he's like, uh, God damn, he really knocked out everybody. Jesus, he got Ogi, uh, Ogi. Whoa, I don't know why I have a brain fart right now. Captain Obi, I said Ogi, yeah. <laughs> Obi, uh, Maki, and Hanawa. Damn, and those are arguably probably the, the strongest one. Well, not strongest, but. 
everybody here is strong, but those three are very, very crucial. Obi's with his orders and stuff. Maki, we already know she's a demon out here. She's one of the strongest here right now. She's, yeah, <laughs> she's like third in Company 8 in terms of strength. And then Hanawa, obviously, he's a lieutenant. That's crazy. Now all we got is Tamaki, Arrow, and Arthur. And I, I think all three of these, they're not as strong as them. That's why, you know, it's being displayed like this. I'm sure of it. No way the captain and lieutenant and Maki were all taken out in an instant. Is this the sauce true power? And you see Arrow, she's getting ready to shoot. Filthy traitor. Damn. Oh my god. Whoa, what are you doing? She's about to whoa. What did he do? He just put his fingers on her throat like this. What he do? I don't know what he did. I don't know what he did, but she got knocked out too. All that's left is the two of you and the non-powered. Which reminds me, where the hell is Joker? He's looking into another doppelganger. Hmm. He's looking into another doppelganger. I wonder if it's Joker's doppelganger or is it Burns' doppelganger? Because I did remember seeing Burns' doppelganger. If I remember how he actually looked aesthetically, I believe that was his doppelganger. Um, but his was like a full-on demon. Like, it didn't really look like him. It was just mostly like how um, Cone Rose was. It was very different, but it had the same abilities and all that. So I wonder if there is really a difference, like a distinctive difference. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. But I think there's really not much of a difference, just how they look, I guess. They can appear and kind of shape shift into these people more so, and sometimes they don't, I guess. I don't know. Who knows, though? But, man, that's... Whew. You there, you're not part of the eighth. I'll let you go. Leave now. I can't do that. <laughs> what? Abandoning their loved ones and fleeing isn't what a fire soldier does. I'd never do something like that. Did you not see what just happened? You don't stand a chance. I already know that. Art, I mean, Arthur. That boy, rip, R.I.P. Arthur. Bro. But <laughs> but that boy, uh, 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 Juggernaut, he like, I ain't backing down. I love it. This is my girl right here. That, you know what I'm saying? I'm not part of the 8th, but hey, I, I got affiliations with the 8th. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I feel him. The world's ending and I could die at any moment. I don't want to leave any regrets. I'll protect the one I love. The one I love. One. That boy's powering up too. Juggernaut. <laughs> Kotatsu-san. If we're able to save the world. Ooh, are you going to date with me? Ooh, let's go, Juggernaut. Let's go. He. Uh, I'm genuinely so happy, man. And I'm not the type of reactor that overreacts to stuff. There's some times where I, I probably will. But like... um. Because usually with manga, just a little, I'll just say this little thing. Usually with manga, I don't really react like over the top because it's, it's kind of hard for me to react to something while I'm just reading it. Now, if it's like an anime and I'm hearing voice acting work and, and music and all this stuff like that and sound design, like that can make you get chills, legitimate chills. But there's times when mangas do this, which I feel like it just shows that manga. I mean, I know mangas be... In terms of the source of the content, you know, the material itself, is come, this is the original content. Manga itself, you can't really mess up with it, you know what I'm saying? Obviously, you know when the manga is good and you know when it's bad. Anime, you can obviously tell they can fuck up a great anime or they can do really good. So it's like, it's a wild card on that side. But I do prefer anime more just because of that emotion that I can't emit from the shit that I'm watching. But manga, I already know, objectively speaking, it always does great but I'm not the type of person that reacts that, you know what I'm saying? So if you guys probably been noticing, if you watch my channel religiously or whatever, or if you just come through, with, you know, whenever, whatever videos or whatnot, uh, just know that I'm not, you know. And I'll probably make a video about more about myself eventually. So you guys will probably hear that too when I get into like the manga side. But yeah, um, man, that boy Juggernaut, will you go on a date with me? I, that's some par some character progression right there. That Just that line. Wow, this is eight words. Eight words right there. I hope he don't die, man. That'll be fucked. That'll be fucked up, bro. Because he almost had a time where he did uh, not too long ago. Man, that's character progression. First, he was trying to get Shinra to help him out and stuff. Or, you know what I'm saying? And now he's... Wow. I love this. Die already. And then he punched the... He or he headbutt him? No, he punched the hell out of Juggernaut. Jesus Christ. Damn, he did he just launch him in the air off of that? Whoa. Someone who speaks of love during battle is soft. They have no right to the field of the battle. I mean, you're very wrong about that. Having love, love is passion, essentially. That's that's a very huge component of um, love is passion. And to have, if you if you love something, you're going to have that passion. You're going to have the ambition. You're going to have the integrity. You're going to have the, the perseverance. You're going to have all of that. You know what I'm saying? The durability. So he's going to fight through it. You just... These doppelgangers, I understand where they're coming from. They're very pessimistic and they're very like, 
You know what I'm saying? Like, they're kind of... And I like it. I, I really like how they're doing it in Fire Force. I've seen other shows where somebody has to basically fight against their, their dark side or whatever. And it's very, like, generic. You know what I'm saying? It's just the, the normal little hatred part or, you know, shit like that. But for these people, it's actually going with the character's personality. Not necessarily like, oh, they just hate the world. They want to burn it or whatever. These characters actually, um, like, they had, like... Think of Kur uh, Kuranos, for example. He was trying to be like the original, basically. He said that it didn't matter if I'm an imitation or, what, or whatever. You're a crazy man. You're a madman. I'm going to show you that I am the perfect, uh, the prime example, the peak level of your madness, even though Kurano wasn't actually like that. And I just love that this is it's, it's a new component with these characters. It's like through the doppelgangers, through like a mirror, they can actually see themselves. And I don't know, this is cool than seeing... You know, people like Juggernaut fighting against them and stuff like that. It's even more cool because we haven't really seen a, um, a person go against a doppelganger that's not, you know, their own. Like, we've seen all doppelgangers f face against their original and vice versa. So, yeah, I really like this, though. Um, that boy Juggernaut, I think he came back down. Yeah, because he doesn't have his uh, foot, right? Um, Tamaki uh, Katatsu, you're all that's left. Hmm. <laughs> oh my god the goddamn lucky lecture you're wasting your time that has no effect on me what on earth what a whorish fire soldier i'm actually really liking this i see what she's see hmm i'm liking this i'm liking this because now you see all the people looking or uh, yeah all the look people she's either she's imagining these people or these are actual people come oh no that's um let me keep reading. <laughs> okay. Um, you objectify yourself. There is no need for sex appeal in this world. No need for sex appeal. The eighth stands on the brink of destruction. It's do or die, Tamaki. Lucky you lectured. Hmm. Okay. So, yeah. So, I see what Tamaki, she's kind of having a moment where she's, um, she's not confident in herself. She, you know, she feels like she has to. Well, this time, actually, though. Is the lucky lecture actually her doing or is it or did it just happen just out of nowhere? Because it kind of feel like a desperate. I feel like her lucky lecture is some kind of like um, defense net mechanism, which we kind of have already. You know, we could tell sometimes it came out of nowhere from the more compete, the more comedic size, even though it all pretty much been comedic. But like in this moment, it feels like she's kind of like having this just this heightened. Um, defense mechanism that's why it's happening right now and as you can see with assault he's trying to you know what i'm saying like dang shit you, i really like this base okay going back to what i was going to say before i read that last page uh, i just really like how the double gangers they're really not like it's, it's not just a generic like oh i'm a bad guy i'm a copy of this person i'm just going to destroy shit it's like no they're actually trying to speak to these people and spit to them i really like that we don't get that a lot in a lot of shows when they do this kind of shit they just be like oh they're an imitation and they want to fight people that's it you know what i'm saying this one they're actually speaking to them and telling them things about themselves and stuff to whether or not they are the doppelganger talking to their original self or they're a doppelganger doppelganger talking to someone else so i really want to know how this is going to go down it looks like tamaki's going to do her thing and juggernaut also i think they both going to defeat him or something something's going to happen they're both going to try to protect each other I think Tamaki might end up, you know, fight for her mans, essentially, you know what I'm saying? For Juggernaut. So I hope both of them don't die. Like, come on, we need, d depending on how the show ends, because we don't know. It could end very badly or it could end very good. I would want it to end good, but I don't know, to be honest. Like, the whole talking about Soul Eater and all that, that whole theory. I don't know. I still, I still think about that every time I read each chapter every week. But this shit, I love Fire Force, man. This is a really dope chapter. I like that juggernaut, you know, that character progression from him. He's trying to fight for his girl. All the people in the eighth got fucked up, you know what I'm saying? So now we only got Tamaki and and uh, juggernaut. So next chapter is going to be a Tamaki chapter for the most part. Uh, and it says, what did it say at the end? It said, uh, to be continued, chapter 280, Lucky Lectured. So I wonder if she's like, maybe if her Lucky Lecture is going to help her out in this instance, in terms of fighting, like actually going on, on the offensive and not just being like a, you know, defensive mechanism. So that's going to be raw. Um, I don't know what she's going to do. She's going to power up. But uh, her and Juggernaut, they got to go beyond. They got to go plus ultra. You know what I'm saying? Shout out my hero. <laughs> but they got to go pu plus ultra in this instance. They got to turn up. They got to tee up. Because this is... I saw is that man and it's weird because i still can't really tell if he's a doppelganger or not his eyes hasn't changed at all 
which is weird. I wonder if there's like just a difference between every doppelganger. Like they don't always go through the same shit. Cause say if we see Joker's, like I wonder if Joker's doppelganger is gonna be like how Colonel's was, or like Benny Morrow's was, or Conroe, or you know what I'm saying. So I don't know. We'll see though. Um, it'll be cool to see if the Eighth had to fight against their own doppelgangers too. That'd be very interesting because we already know Shinra has his own doppelganger, which they haven't touched on in the in a while. Uh, I wonder if that's going to come to fruition or, I mean, you know, just pop up. But uh, this chapter, I really like this chapter. I'm going to give this one an eight. I really liked it because Juggernaut and Tamaki things, like, there's a two character. I mean, there's a lot of lovable, likable characters in Fire Force. So it's like, but Juggernaut and, and Tamaki, those are two characters that are both in the same boat in terms of um, not just their relationship, but like in terms of them being kind of the underdog in a lot of situations or, you know, not being so aggressive, not being the aggressors. They're always the most passive of characters. We've seen Juggernaut turn up a few times or really once, like really, really turned up. Um, Tamaki too, we've seen her do better, get her training on and all that stuff. So, you know what I'm saying? We, we've seen them progress, but it's like, I love that Fire Force does this, man. Okubo is really good at like character progression. He doesn't forget where he left off at. And I, I think that's something that I really like with his writing because we have people... You know, like with Colonel a few chapters back, like just seeing because we didn't really get like everything that he was saying about, you know, wanting to keep on bullying and fighting uh, Natsuku to keep him weak and all that. Like that whole philosophy was still kind of weird and flawed because we didn't really we didn't really get like a very uh, uh, valid answer. He just said that it made him look crazy as fuck. But, you know, a few chapters back. When he actually told his doppelganger why, and or not necessarily why, but he's like, "I'm y'all really look at me like that," and he actually explained, you know, I'm a salary man. This is what I do. This is my job. I have to be like this. You know, the aggressor, very, you know, uh, intimidating and all that. So I just love that Fire Force, like Okubo. You can tell that he does not forget where he left off at with all these characters. I really love that. I fuck with that a lot. That's why Fire Force is already in my top five anime manga of all time. I haven't seen hella anime and manga of all time, or, or, you know, I haven't seen a lot, or I haven't finished a lot of them, but from what I have seen and what I'm actually still continuing on doing, Fire Force doesn't have anything that I dislike. It really doesn't. It don't have much flaws in anywhere, you know what I'm saying? All the characters are likable. It has a big cast. That's why I love a lot. It has some world building. Everybody needs some world building in a, in a series. Um, the, the fighting system is, is great. The story is great. Philosophies from every character is great you know, putting the religion and science and all this shit into one. It's just really good. It's like, it's it's hard to dislike Fire Force. The only reason why people dislike it, which I always ran on damn near every Fire Force video, is the whole um, fan service shit of Tamaki. And that's about it. That's the only flaw people can actually say about Fire Force. Other than that, it's just little nitpicks and stuff, which we all have that. But like, in terms of writing, it's very, very good writing. And that's all I got to say about that. So let me know down below what you guys think about Fire Force, what you guys think about this chapter or my reaction, whatever you want to talk about. Let me know down below what you guys think. Um, what's going to happen next chapter? Any predictions? What you guys... Thing. I think Tamaki's gonna turn up. I wonder if Juggernaut is gonna get back into the in the mix, or is Tamaki basically gonna like kind of, you know, be the one to? I don't know. We'll we'll see. If she's gonna deliver the final blow, but I think she's gonna definitely need help. You know what I'm saying? So Juggernaut is gonna come back and do his thing. You know, uh, I can't wait for this shit. But yeah, uh, like I tell you guys in every video, please like, comment, subscribe, share the video. The, the video. If you fuck with your boy, or if you don't fuck with your boy, you don't have to do none of that. Um, and also stay safe, stay healthy, stay clean. I'll see you guys all in the next video on Friday for that My Hero Academia. So I'll see you all there. And peace.